He's the CEO and founder of The Blaze, as well as the host of the Glenn Beck program. He's also quite a looker, a great dancer. <laughs> Glenn. Well, at least you speak the truth. That's the first truthful thing I've heard you say all night. <laughs> uh, by the way, I have, you know, you guys have been here. I have quite a collection of really cool stuff. <laughs> oh, I know That's you true. do. That's that true. That Elizabeth Warren is the greatest thing. <laughs> Where did you get it? What did it cost? And what will you sell it for? That is tremendous. Well, Glenn, we're not very uh, good, but we're real expensive. Uh, I'll, yeah. I'll tell you the truth. I spent two years trying to pull this joke off. I went to, there are very few wooden cigar Indian makers left. <laughs> You'd be surprised to learn. And I went to them, and they all thought that it was hilarious. And then they all turned me down because they were afraid uh, of the blowback. They were afraid that they would lose this little niche business that they, they've they managed to stay under the radar and not have the woke culture take away from them. So then I went to Hollywood prop people to make it out of styrofoam. They all turned me down flat. <laughs> I kept pursuing it for two years. I'm going to tell you where this came from. I don't know. The reason I don't know, my our, our set design uh, uh, person, Carol, our art director, found someone who would make it, but only if we would pay cash up front to her, which she would then deliver to them and never have us know who they are. That is the honest to God truth. That is, that is America today, isn't it? That's a sad story. That's a, is it wood? Is it made out of wood? It is not, unfortunately. It's, it's a styrofoam made in a prop shop. You know, since we're acknowledging the well, statue, I, I, tell you, I would like to point out for the somebody audio. Somebody the Blaze audience will make one for me out of wood. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to point out for the audience that Elizabeth is standing on a book that says Pow Wow Chow, so I just want to get all the detail in there. <laughs> Fantastic. You know, we have the Elizabeth Warren theme. Can we play the Elizabeth Warren theme? Uh, every time we talk about Elizabeth Warren, we, we play her uh, campaign song uh, here. Can you roll that so they can hear that? Um, there it is. Uh, <laughs> it's a snappy number, um, but maybe that's just me. Well, I was using, on my show, I was using Colors of the Wind for at least a year. <laughs> <laughs> so, Glenn, you're in Texas. Is Bernie Sanders going to pull it off down there? It looks like it. I mean, that is insane. Unbelievable. Stop. You damn people in California. <laughs> Stop coming here. Stop now, it. I'm going to defend Californians, which I rarely do. But when Ted Cruz was in that very tight race with Beto O'Rourke uh, two years ago now, in the polling that came out afterwards, it was actually native-born Texans who were more likely to support Beto, and all of the Californians who had moved to the state were more likely to vote really? for Ted Cruz. Because it's all the good Californians who leave. Yeah, the yeah. people who leave California are the actually the people. conservative yeah. Californians. I, I have to tell you that um, this I find really, really disturbing. There was an exit poll here in Texas that showed the support for those who were um, leaving the the uh, polling booth. What was it? Was it 54 or 50? 57% yeah. of those that left the polling booth here in Texas were had a favorable opinion of socialism. Wow. In California, that number was 54. Wow. Unbelievable. Wow. Something is wrong. Something's very wrong. So uh, how do you feel about the fact that Joe Biden appears to be having a pretty good night? I'm, I'm excited about it, frankly, because anything that does not force half the country into embracing full-on communism is a good thing for me. But I know a lot of people are more fearful of Biden beating Trump than, than Sanders beating Trump. So where, where are you coming down on this? Um, I think any day that uh, Joe Biden gets up and can find his shoes <laughs> is a good day <laughs> for Joe Biden. Uh, I, I don't think, I, I think, I, we were just talking about it. We kind of feel bad for Joe Biden as we don't like him, we don't like his policies, et cetera, et cetera. But I don't revel in somebody declining yeah. in front of the United States. You know what I mean? It's sad. Yeah. Um, I do. Yeah. I, do. <laughs> I, feel, I enjoy it. But I, I, a good person would not enjoy it. Yes. Uh, also, the, right, right. also, the revision... And I'm pretending to be a good person. So <laughs> the revision, I, feel, I, I admired... actually feel bad. So I don't think he's... A vote for Joe Biden is a vote for whoever he picks <clears throat> as the vice president. Um, Sanders, I think, would put a nail in the coffin. I, I, I'm kind of worried that Sanders... Um, not getting the nomination, A, I mean, sell your home in Milwaukee, get the hell out of there, <laughs> or buy a lot of fire extinguishers. Um, but uh, I'm afraid that the, what's happening with Sanders will be what happened on a very accelerated rate uh, to Buckley or to uh, Goldwater. That set up mm -hmm. Ronald Reagan. 
And I mm. think you're going to mm. see a snapback. I'd like to, I don't like the risk of Bernie Sanders, the, the possibility risk big, win big. This is a risk big, lose big. If he would win, we would lose our nation. Yeah. But I would love to see a defeat, an, an out and out, head to head battle between capitalism and socialism. Um, and, and, and let's put this, let's put this to rest. Let's just put this to rest. I'm with you, Glenn. I think I, I would yep. rather see the, con this is the conversation the country is having. Let's have it in the voting booth. Let's, let's have it out. It's dangerous, but I'd rather see it. Yeah, I mean, I, again, I'm, I'm on the other side of that. I, I really think that it's incredibly dangerous because there's so many people who are just going to centralize around the Democratic nominee just to defeat Trump that you're going to get 25% yes. of the population embracing full-blown communism just because they don't like Trump. Yeah. And, and that, I think, is dangerous because I think that yeah, Bernie Sanders' base is actually a quarter. After we're all in a gulag for 20, 30 years, <laughs> they'll think twice. <laughs> yeah, where, where I don't, I don't want to go down in history as a cautionary tale. That's not, <laughs> that's not my high yeah, ambition. No, I, we're headed. We're headed for that. You know, the one, the one hope, the one hope with Bernie though is, first of all, I agree. I want the honest conversation. I want the honest debate. I think Trump is going to win 57 states plus Samoa <laughs> plus Greenland. But uh, even if Bernie Sanders <laughs> wins, uh, the the con consolation there is. The man has never accomplished anything on a legislative <laughs> level, despite having been in government for half a century. He's, you, you know, I, I hate to say this, Michael, because you're a smart guy and you know, um, but you sound like the people who are like, yeah, but <laughs> if Hitler gets in, we're going to be able to maneuver around him. No, I mean, I mean he's this not going to. This is right. This is right. I mean, the yeah, fact yeah, is he, that yeah. the Bernie, the, where presidents do the most damage, where Trump maybe has done the most good, is actually not on domestic policy. Everyone likes to talk about his domestic policy. Trump's foreign policy has been stellar. Yep. I mean, overall, it's been really stellar. Yep. And Bernie, because the commander-in-chief has such exorbitant powers in, in this particular area, Bernie as commander-in-chief scares the living daylights out of me. Bernie what gets he would Guantanamo do to, American to Cuba. Like, day one, he gets Guantanamo. <laughs> he gets Florida yeah. to Cuba, dude. I mean, yeah. forget about Guantanamo. Oh, you're still here, which means you're either a lonely Media Matters employee or you enjoyed today's episode. Well, that like button ain't gonna press itself, so drop us a like and keep the haters hating.